Bhubaneswar, which is the capital of the state of Orissa in eastern India. It's one of the country's fastest growing cities. People and businesses and traffic are pouring in. But it's got a problem because it's running out of energy. I'm Amanda Burrell, and I've come here to find out about the measures that are being taken to solve this power crisis. Bhubaneswar is growing by 36% every year. Bhubaneswar was dependent on hydroelectric power for 60% of its energy needs. But now, hydroelectric power only supplies 30%. And if you look out over there, you get a sense of why that is. Rainfalls declined dramatically recently because of global warming. The last good monsoon was five years ago. And the situation got so bad that frequent power cuts had to be imposed. Bhubaneswar took a pioneering decision. In 2007, it adopted a city-level policy to make itself energy efficient. Municipal buildings were converted to alternative energy sources, including the city hospital. This is a solar water heating system. And this is a 200 litre system. That means it will give you 200 litres of hot water every day right. at 60 degrees centigrade. There are two of these systems here. 400 litres doesn't seem like a lot, but for a small regional hospital, it makes a huge difference. So how does it work? We have water running through these copper tubes. And uh, when this is exposed to sunlight, the copper absorbs heat that is transferred to the water. Hot water being lighter moves up. That's why this is sloping upwards. And then it goes to the top of the tank. Cold water being heavier is at the bottom of the tank and it comes back into the system, to the bottom of these collectors. You don't need any pumps to circulate. Right. It is just by gravity. Heavy rain can prevent this system from working. But now that the monsoon's poor, that's not so much of a problem. Oh, hot. There are also 25 solar photovoltaic panels. And these power lights, fans, and a vaccine fridge. How many vaccines can it store at one time? About 500. This works around the clock. Even if there is no sunshine for the next six days, it will still run. 10,000 people are immunized with vaccines from this fridge every year. Using such measures, the hospitals cut its energy consumption by around 30%. Inside here, there's a very green baby. It's just been born. Um, it's got jaundice, so it's in this phototherapy machine, which is powered by the solar panels on the roof. This system is not only eco-friendly, but it's much more reliable than before. Very little. The Beneshwa didn't stop at public buildings. It took its mission to be energy efficient onto the streets, and especially to the city's tens of thousands of market traders. They were using a lot of uh, those uh, incandescent tube lights and 100 watt or 90 watt bulb. So we told them and we changed the entire lighting system into 14 watt or 18 watt CFL bulb. CFLs are compact fluorescent lights. These ones use a fifth of the energy of conventional bulbs, and they last around 10 times longer. When you consider that there are 100,000 traders in Bhubaneswar, then that's a big difference. Today you go to marriage party, or you go to household, you go to schools, college, everywhere, people are using CFL bulbs. So by seeing it here in sort of the yeah. public domain, then people learn to use yeah, these yeah, kind of technologies yeah, at home, yeah. and the idea spreads and spreads and spreads. Yeah. the city is also turning its attention to other kinds of lighting. This stretch of 1.1 kilometers is actually lit by a LED-based lighting system. So this is uh, the very first project in our state and we're very proud of it. 
These lights use 60% less energy than the conventional bulbs previously used. If you look at the city as a whole, there's a potential to save a huge amount of energy and you know, be that much more environment friendly. Walking through the streets, we were in Venice at night and came across this wedding procession. And these little bulbs here are all CFLs, which is a great sign that the idea of energy efficient bulbs is spreading beyond the vendors and out into the people in the Venezuela. From what I've seen, this is a place with a real vision for the future. The steps Bubenishwa is taking may be small, but the combined impact is big, and it's re-energizing this city.